Tacoma bed rack bolts that need to be fixed. Well, good morning everybody, and how are you today? Pretty good here, and today, that's right, I am going to fix a Tacoma bed rack bolt problem um, that I should have probably done a different way to begin with. Um, I put these bolts in here to take up the holes, if you will, that I had drilled when I mounted the spare tire in here, but they don't get tight and they don't grab anything. So I need to remove these. I have another solution over here that we're gonna do. And the bad thing about these is to remove them, I have to hold the uh, bolt from underneath and turn the nut at the same time because there's nothing to grab the head because instead of making these holes round, or square rather, I made them round. And the square bottoms of the carriage bolts don't have anything to grab onto. So we're gonna see about removing these uh, quickly, I hope, and then I'll show you what I'm gonna put in in their place. So, let's see if I can uh, do this expeditiously. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need some other tools. So rather than keep you on here, uh, because I do want to keep this uh, G-rated. I'm going to go ahead and get these things off and then we'll come back on and I'll show you what's going to go on in their place. Okay, got the bolts out and it was a struggle. Exactly the reason why I did it. Um, now you can see the round holes here. Uh, there was nothing holding those carriage bolts tight. Um, so I did scratch up the top of the uh, bed rack unfortunately a little bit here. I'm going to touch that up with some black paint after I get done what I'm going to do next Which hopefully doesn't cause any more damage uh, It shouldn't uh, what I'm going to do. I got some black head screws Which I'll probably have to touch up after I put a screwdriver in there. and then uh, Some black washers here and all I'm going to do Is just put these through the hole like so again really just to take up space. That's my whole uh, goal here um, is to take up space so that I don't have exposed holes. And since I now have a Phillips head on the top, you guys can see, and then I'll bolt on the bottom, I'll be able to remove these um, without having to worry about something grabbing in the hole. That's my point. So I'm gonna grab some Loctite. I'm gonna put a little bit of blue Loctite on these just to hold them in the threads, or hold them in the nuts rather. And then we'll go ahead and put them on. Here we go, let's grab a... Uh screwdriver and wrench and then, like I said a little bit of blue Loctite go ahead and squirt a little bit of that on there doesn't take much just a little dab or two will do ya I like that hair commercial right back in the day show my age there right go ahead put that on and then bolt on the bottom, tighten it up, and then do a little bit of touching up. Should be able to just tighten this down. Oh, of course we have another problem. We're gonna need a washer for the bottom. See, these are the things you run into because our nut is gonna go right through that hole. So, there's a fail. Uh, that would have been good. Go ahead and tighten that thing down and then it just comes right through, right? So, Let's go ahead and grab another washer to go on the bottom to hold our bolt in. Let's try that again. That was a uh, brilliant move. Go ahead and get this nut off of here. Wow. I don't know. Okay. Let's see if we can do this with one hand. Actually, we're going to use two hands. Got some gnats out here. That's uh, just a little added bonus. Oh, 
Okay, now, let's go ahead and tighten this thing down. Again, the Loctite obviously is to hold it in there steady. There we go, that's it, nice and tight. Go ahead and do the other side. Put the Loctite on this bolt. You know, Loctite's great, but man, does it run all over the place. Okay, put that through. The washer on the wrong way. I want the more finished looking side up, if you will. Okay, go ahead. Just suck around there. Alright. Tighten her down. That is a big, pesky mat. There. I think with the Loctite, that's not going to go anywhere. Well, that should be good. I think we're golden. <clears throat> now, as I mentioned, I scraped it up. I don't know if you guys can see on camera. Um, so I am going to have to touch that up a little bit. So, just lock tight off of everything. Hopefully, my paint is a close enough match. Grab my paint and stuff from under there. Get rid of some stuff. Get this out of the way. There. Hopefully we don't drop the paint, that'll be a whole different video. Let's go ahead and see if I can't touch this up here. hair. Paint should be good and stirred up, I think. Did that off camera, of course. Alright, let's see what we get. Yeah, that's going to blend in well, I think, when it dries, so I think not creating too much of a nightmare well there that uh, that's going to be uh, that's going to be the finished product so we'll see what it looks like once it dries um, I think it's going to be okay actually go ahead and seal this up before I drop it okay that is the uh, <laughs> redone. If that's a gnat. I think it's a, actually a mosquito. There we go. That is the uh, the finished project. Um, again, just trying to redo those bolt holes a little bit. I didn't like the way that they were, and the fact that I wouldn't be able to get them out um, if I needed to, because there's nothing grabbing that bolt. So. A word to the wise, I guess. If you're going to do anything like this, uh, just make sure you give yourself a way to remove it, uh, should you ever want to. And in my case, in case I ever want to use those holes for something else, um, I now can. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my little project today. Also, real quick, if you haven't before and you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.